Hello, my Fierce Art family! We have another huge haul, but this time I will be featuring a lot of items that is used for journaling, planning, organizing, and note-taking. So we are going to start with the, the beautiful Fairies Wheel Press items that I got here when I took advantage of their Black Friday sale haul. I have here a book. Hacker journal, we have some Sharpie S note pens, we have two planners right here, and then some planner inserts, and a box of Rhodia notepad goodies. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So this is a gift from a loved one and this is ordered from Fairy's Wheel Press and this one is like a Christmas gift and was sent directly to my address and then I asked if I can go ahead and open it up, unbox it on the video since I cannot wait for Christmas and I was given a glow signal so yes I can go ahead and unbox this with you my fierce art family so excited oh wait huh that's weird what it's already under oh well okay so that's that was not me though but yeah whatever all right so let's unwrap it here on this side hopefully nothing is lost on this one because that i did not do all right. Okay. And let's unbox. And here it is. Ta da! All right. So exciting. So these are the items that I have here. A very beautiful. Very well sketchbook. There's not a lot of videos about this one and I haven't seen anybody with this particular design. There's some who have another type of the book, which is really, really nice, but it's not, uh, what should we call it? It's not the exact same one. And I probably should go ahead and put here on the screen to promote their videos as well, because why not? We are... Uh, art community that supports each other and I love their video so yeah so that's the one that I ordered and it says Carnet de Croqui I butchered that for sure I do not speak French but yeah so it has 240 pages 160 grams of paper acid free and yeah super exciting wow this is super heavy it has a weight on it and yeah, wow, what a lovely sketchbook. I would love to have more. <laughs> so it says here, the sketchbook at the beginning of your every idea. Oh, it's so big. Well, let me just put this aside for now because I will create a dedicated video for that one. And then this is a carousel fountain pen. Super exciting. Let me just remove all of them from the box. Well, let's unwrap this one. This will be my first ever First, we'll press inks. And it's this one. And this one is called the Ink Charger Set. And there's three 5ml vials, and this is the finer things. So let's do a quick unboxing of this beautiful carousel pen. So it says Fairies Wheel Press right there. Beautiful box, nice packaging, and that's um, like foil there metallic foil on the box and then here it says carousel fountain pen there's the horse of the carousel there and the color forget me not and on this side it says fountain pen with custom ground nib there's a photo of the fountain pen without the cap and here it says refillable converter so it also has a converter inside Okay, we have a sneak peek of the pen in there. Nice, cute window. And then here on the other side, it says, Designed and assembled in Toronto, Canada. Made in Taiwan. And yeah, that's how it looks. 
maple leaf there on the top. The carousel fountain pen, capturing your most magical memory of the midway. The carousel comes equipped with a converter and is ready to be filled with your favorite fountain pen ink. Bring your brightest ideas to life with the spirit of the carnival. That's beautiful. So let's grab the pen from here. Aha, uh -huh, there's an easy grip here. That's nice. I can open it so I can easily grab the pen like so. That's a nice thoughtful idea. And this is how the pen looks like in the forget-me-not color. Just a very light pastel blue. I should say so this is how the pen looks like it's a very lightweight at the bottom there is a ferris wheel press engraved maybe it doesn't show on the camera but there is and then here it says the carousel okay that's nice engraved in silver font and then to uncap it we just do like so and here is the beautiful nib Oh, that's so nice. So there's a horse right there, just so similar to this one. And it's just a steel nib. And this nib I have in medium because I plan to use this one for some shimmering inks that I have. After the very Soul Press sketchbook and a carousel fountain pen, now let's talk about this very Soul Press the ink charger set and this one has a curated collection of three 5 ml vials and it says on the box fall in love with writing again and i really like this box we have a window once again it's and we can have a sneak peek of this three glass bottles inside on the side right here it says please use creatively there's a minus and plus sign and then at the back, more information. It says that this collection is called The Finer Things and we have Stuffed Umber, Oyster Hour, and Spruce County Post, made in Toronto, Canada. And it says here, stay equipped with your set of travel-friendly ink chargers, size to fit an international standard ink converter, and created to keep up with your flow of brilliant ideas. How nice. All right, and let's open it. Oh, wow. I can still see something right here that says, every great idea begins with a spark of imagination. How inspiring. So, so many thoughtful details here on the box. Okay, so here is the uh, ink files, three of them, and they're glass. I appreciate that instead of some that could be just made out of plastic. Oh, at the bottom, you see the initials of the names of each ink. So we have three here. So a vial looks like this. We have the Ferris Wheel Press logo right there, a golden cap right here. And then at the back, it says, please use creatively 5ml made in Canada. There's a minus sign and the plus sign, which is very reminiscent of a battery. So I have a sample battery right here. And so I have a sample battery right here and you see that there is a plus sign on one side and then a negative sign on the other. And it's very similar or inspired from a double A battery. So this double A battery looks like this. I feel like in diameter, the Ferris wheel press vials are just a little bit bigger. And yeah, so that is how it looks. Super cool, right? So imagine, if you haven't ordered one of these yet and you are so curious, just grab one of the batteries at home and you would know how 
big the vials are, which makes it really perfect for traveling or when you are journaling, when you go to, let's say, a coffee shop or whatnot. So yeah, super nice. I like the idea of this super creative. And now let's go ahead and swatch these inks. For today, I am going to use my Rodia Notepad, which is lined. The size is 7.4 by 10.5 centimeters or 2.9 by 4.1 inches made in France. So it's a very small one, but I feel like this will show here and I can easily test the ink. All right. So first we will grab steeped umber. Okay, there is something protecting it, which is good. Okay, all right, removing this part. It's like a silicon cover. And then I am grabbing my glass pen so we can easily test it. I'll try it with a watercolor brush too. Spread the ink on the paper. Then I'll just put more ink on some parts of it. Perhaps right here and there. And then I am washing my brush and will diffuse some edges to see how that looks also when we diffuse it because for people like me who would love to use their fountain pen inks in creating art, illustrations, drawing and whatnot then you would know. So it flows so well with water. Maybe we do a little bit of lines also, like let's say some straight line or diagonals and stuff like that. And then a wavy, maybe we can put that wavy here and there. The second one is the Oyster Hour. Now applying it with a brush. And lastly, we have Spruce County Post. So here are all three inks dried, starting off with Steeped Umber, Oyster Hour, and Spruce County Post. So stay tuned because I have some more Ferris wheel press hauls here coming up on my YouTube channel. So I will unbox them right away once I receive them. This next one I am super excited because this is from Ferris wheel press that I have been stalking for years now probably ever since their kickstarter <laughs> but since i am here in europe it was a little difficult to grab them it was too expensive the shipping fee but they had a very good deal for black friday and i didn't want to miss that so yes this is the first box we're going to unbox aha I think this is the last one that I ordered. So this is the second order from the Black Friday sale. And let's unwrap them. I cannot wait. So first, let's unwrap this one. This is the Ferris Wheel Press, the Carousel Fountain Pen. And in the color, Lady Rose. So it says that it has a fine steel nib. So on the side right here, we see a photo of the fountain pen and that there's a refillable converter. And then here, oh, we can 
peek through it. It's so cool. What a nice box. And it says the carousel fountain pen capturing your most magical memory of the midway. The carousel comes equipped with a converter that is ready to be filled with your favorite fountain pen ink. Bring your brightest ideas to life with the spirit of the carnival. And we slide it like so. And here is the pen. There it is. Very beautiful lady rose. It's at very lightweight. First we'll press at the bottom over there. To open it, we just need to pull the cup off. And here is the steel nib. Oh, okay, and we have a detail there. Then let's open it. And there is the converter. Here you go. Okay. I don't think that this converter has Ferris wheel press inside it. See, okay, so yeah, there. I believe the nib that I have chosen for this one is fine. Or maybe that's the only one that's also available on the site. Because lately I have been wanting either fine or medium nib. Alright, so that's about it for this interesting pen and then let's unwrap or unbox the next one and here we have the ferris wheel press the brush pen very nice packaging way bigger packaging than this one the carousel and there's a huge difference in the price the regular price for the carousel is 18 euros and then the brush pen is 110 euros but at the moment on black friday and christmas season they are on sale so the carousel 14.88 euros and the brush pen is 89.88 euros i always wanted this color so i'm happy i have that but let's open this sandcastle clay color and i think that the color of this one would complement this lady rose in carousel so this is the box it's the front part very beautiful creative packaging this is how it looks on the side doing a little bit of 360 oh hey okay, better this way it says there's a patent and then ferris will press toronto designed and assembled in toronto canada and we have a french word in there so beautiful look at that such nice details okay so i'm going to push this down oh wow you can see the difference between these two pens the packaging the presentation and that's probably the reason why the price is higher for this one it says write history it even has its own pen sleeve and yes, I can really feel the weight on this one. We have this maple leaf again in gold that represents Canada. Really nice box and we grab it like so. I would love to have a pink one of this one also, but there was nothing on stock. So on the website, it says that each fountain pen is handmade from copper brass and stainless steel for a well-balanced yet substantial writing experience each intricate detail of the grip is now engraved to enhance the tactility and feedback of a design that is bold as brass okay, so if i'm not mistaken this one is the brass part and to uncap it we have to unscrew it like so oh my gosh and then there it reveals the beautiful design of this part of the pen it's just so stunning oh wow and here i get to choose the nib size medium ferris will press over here yeah that's nice I, I really really like the weight of this one and this is designed to mimic a watercolor brush 
and that is why it's called a brush pen and you know that I have a huge collection of watercolor brushes which I even have two part video here on my YouTube channel and soon I will do another one just to show the current collection before the year ends. So if you haven't seen that yet, go on and check it out here on my YouTube channel. Here's a regular round brush for your reference. If you notice that here, there's like a belly part which is slightly wider than the tip of the brush holder and the ferrule. So when you look at the design of the pen, it is somewhat similar that of course here on the tip, it goes more narrow. And then here in the belly, it's a little bit wider and then it goes slim again on the ferrule part. So that's where the concept is from. And I think they say that they do not really recommend that you post it like this unless you are the kind of person who you know you could trust yourself and that you are very, very careful then perhaps. But since that it's made out of brass, it will be scratching this material, the outer part, and you wouldn't want your pen to be looking old right away. So yeah, just be very careful. But yeah, it was really nice. Hmm. I feel like I don't mind it posted. I feel I really wanted the added weight on pens, but it's okay also if you don't have it because it, yeah, there is still weight on it, like a good balance on this one compared to the carousel. But of course, we have our own references and you could really try the pens so you know which one you really like and maybe do something like what I did, take advantage of the promotion so you get to try this brushes. So yeah, that's about it for now for this brushes because I am going to have a dedicated video solely for these and together with the other ones that I have or that I have ordered from them and give you my review because right now it's just part of the haul and me talking way too much. <laughs> so here let's unwrap something from Amazon. And it's this one and it's from Rodia. Oh my goodness, we have lots of reflection. <laughs> so that's how it is. And this one is called Rodia. The essential box. Ah, uh, this is lined. I was hoping I would grab something that's dotted, but okay, this is lined. Well, at least we get to try this one also. Made in France, it says here. All right, so let's unwrap it. In my previous nice Black Friday sale haul, I showed you this one. It's a Rodia dotted uh, notepad. And I used this one to swatch my advent calendar ink that I use for here, for this part. So yeah, let me swatch my advent calendar inks. And now I thought that I would grab more from Rodia because it was really good paper, good quality, but I didn't realize that this was, was lined. I thought it was dotted as well, but the box is super cool. So when we open the box, looks like this. Look at that, how fun. There's so many things inside here. Here we have pencils. Aha, okay. We have some pencils here. Two pieces of Rodia pencils and then right off the bat I can see three different notepads here so this size is a let's see here 2.9 by 4.1 inches or 7.4 by 10.5 centimeters Steal the 80 grams made in France, so but it's lined this time, and I think these two are the same. 
Yes, it is the same. And then here we have a lengthwise. I remember we used this one in the university when I was still studying. This size is what we use for quizzes and exams. And then here is a bigger notepad. Oh, by the way, this one, the size is 2.9 by 8.3 centimeters or 7.4 by 21 centimeters and then lastly our bigger one here is this Rhodia uh -huh. really reminds me of school days oh wow hmm blocks or not punched pads it says here okay then punch pads all right, this one, the size is, where is it written? I believe this is an A5, so that will be 14.8 by 21 centimeters. So yeah, super cool, look at that. And then we have the usual Rhodia color here, orange, it's usually like orange and black. So that's quite nice. Oh goodness, I just really hope that this was the dotted one because that's the more popular one in the fountain pen world. But nonetheless, I'm sure I could make use of this. It was really pretty and such a cute gift idea also. So that's all of it. Even the box, you can repurpose it, put your other things inside it. So yep, that's for this one. So I have one book right here, which is a cute book. It says, Hack Your Journal. So it's a journaling idea. It says, stay organized and record everything that matters with one notebook. So it has more than 40 creative layouts. And this is how it looks. I believe I got this from Amazon. It's about $14.95 US dollars, but you can have that cheaper. Manufactured in Canada. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of a flip through. Goes like this. Really cute colors, mostly pastels. So get there. This table of contents. We have getting started, why journal, setting up your journal, making your to-do list, decorating your journal, choosing your supplies, and then the page layout is from a monthly planning, weekly, daily, health and wellness, work and productivity, personal finances, household routines, personal reflections, hobbies and travel, planning, uh, practices, pages have... Um, the resource uh, about the contributors and the index. All right, so that's the introduction. Getting started goes like this. Why journal gives you an idea from the order of like why it helps to have a journal. How to stay motivated, tips for making journaling a daily habit. So it's quite a good one because it gives you tips and how to's and this is by Christina Thomas this part. Lots of tips. See the tips are on like green notes, notepads right there. Really nice. Creating and adapting your layouts by Ashlyn Muesser. Aha, uh -huh. so we have different people who gave their ideas on this one and that's good, which is like a collective ideas on a book um, for journaling. So there, journaling, planning, organizing. Right, so here's we have some materials, pens, super important, you know how much we love pens. And then, yeah, mostly talks about the pens on this part, even felt tip pens, brush pens, highlighters, colored pencils, and markers. And then correction tapes, rulers, sticky notes, stickers, sticky page flags, stencils and stamps, those that makes your journal much more personalized, something that will entice you on, keep on creating your journal, inspires you. So whichever colors, whichever designs suits you. Of course, we have some washi tapes here now. And there's tips for getting started from a seasoned journaler by Cindy Thompson. So there, 
Look at that cute spread. There are page layouts and then it's on a bullet type page right here. Okay, so monthly planning, calendar style layout right there. Monthly planning, two page date list. And so forth, yeah, to do notes. There's a two column layout, like events and personal right there. So many different types, so many beautiful ideas. So we have a linear calendar right here that looks like that. So gives you lots and lots of ideas to do your journal. And now that was Erin Nichols. This one is Micah Lewis. Circle calendar spread. Oh, that's cool. I have never tried that one. So I should try that one on one of the months for the coming year, 2024. Okay, and oh, it even tells you what to do like from drawing a circle calendar and so forth. Well, wow, this is really interesting. And then weekly planning, weekly dashboard. Aha, uh -huh. by Marie Therese Wilher. Wilher. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Categorized task list by Ashlyn Mueser. Okay, so there. Wow, really a lot of uh, planners, experts. Oh, uh, another from Erin Nichols is here. It's a vertical weekly schedule. It looks like so. So we can try all of these ideas and then choose which ones we would stick with. And there a lot more that I think this book could offer so yeah but if you want me to do a thorough flip through specifically about this book or give you a book review after I have read it and used it then let me know so yeah I can create a dedicated video but this time it is just part of this haul and here I have two planners right here and they are of two different sizes so if I'm not mistaken this one is called like a personal size and this one is just a little bit smaller I am not so sure what is this size but maybe I can put it on the description bar instead so this blue super sparkly one that is so cool for winter time and the holidays it is very simple I got this from flying tiger and it was on like their clearance part and it just goes like this so there is one pocket part right here but this is so glittery like you really feel the texture of the glitter on this one so it probably is just uh, for certain people who's okay with this type of texture and uh, this it just have some note part right here but I thought that I can uh, go ahead and um, just have this book i feel like it's like a book bookcase for me slash binder and then i can do all my diy and create my own inserts over here or place some inserts that is pre-made that i can just fill this up so that's how it looks very very simple can even use it for just taking down notes but yeah so that's something that i can use for this month up to the coming year. And then another one right here, uh, this one is also on the clearance section um, of a planner slash like a hobby store like that, but it's mostly for, yeah, mostly for planning also, that kind of hobby shop. Uh, and this one is from Webster's Pages. And this is not so perfect. I see a lot of things like right here, a little bit wrinkly, and then there's an ink mark there, pen mark, and a little bit of, it's a full letter ripped off right here on some parts, but I feel like it is a super good price anyway. And I think I could still make use of it. It says live, love, plan. It's very, very cute. <laughs> that's inspiring i like this part right here so nice but when i was looking for 
more information about this planner, I found out that Webster's Pages have already closed their business. Because when I went to their website, it says that, yeah, that they have already closed. So when you go to Webster'sPages.com, it says after 20 plus great years, we have decided to close our doors. We want to thank all of you who supported us over the past two decades. So any orders placed on or before the 28th of June, 2023 will be fulfilled. So I guess that's when they close it. Yeah, that's so sad because I've been stalking their planners and it was really, really amazing. Their, their planners, their journals are really beautiful. They create really good ones and super cute colors and all that. So yeah, that's sad. But so there, that's one memory that I have from Webster's Pages in this very pretty color also. And it, this is how it looks inside. It says Webster's Pages there, EST 1986. This is even before I was born. So it's triple W, um, Webster's Pages .com right here. There's a slot here and there. There's a pen slot here, garterized. Uh, two card slots over here and then another one over here. So you can put some washi tape stickers and all that. Then there also some pockets. And wow, look at that. It's like this gold color rings over here. Really nice. But I have bought something to fill this one inside for the coming year. And what I got is this one. And this is a 12 month calendar pack. So this is on a very good sale. And it says here that there's 97 pieces inside. And there's a sneak peek right here. So for the 12 months, we have like a specific page for it, which is a little bit more of a thicker page than the other pages. And yeah, it goes like this. So we have, uh, we can see what we, ex we could expect inside it. Those are the months and then the pages are right there. So it says a 12 month tab divider. Oh, that's what it's called, tab divider. Oh my goodness. One acetate tab divider and 84 calendar sheets. Okay, all right. Manufactured by Craft Smith in 2016, it says. Okay, yeah, it says Craft Smith right here. And then, okay. So it goes like this. So I usually like those super cute pastel -y vibes. But when I saw this, I was like, hmm, that looks like a little bit of a grown-up girl. So I was like, oh, like hey, maybe it's a different mood for this one. Probably can use this for my business. Um, then mostly my business planner. And yeah, this is how it looks. All right, so we have that. And then there's notes over here. Uh -huh, so for every month at the back, it says ideas right there. Okay, so yeah, that's the monthly divider. And then there's like week of like oh okay there's yeah um month spread right there and then weekly spread okay like a weekly vertical layout if I'm not mistaken isn't that what it's called from the hack your journal but yeah so that was it and then at the very back yeah, okay, so that is what is called the acetate tab divider. So that's just one over here. So I uh, will find out if I'm going to put this one at the very end or at the very front. But at the moment, it was like at the very back like so. So what I plan to do, actually, I can even put it here. I'm not so sure if this one would fit in here. So maybe we can try... All right, so let's see. All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, it does fit. Yeah, so maybe, maybe I can put 
all of these here instead because it kind of complements. We have like some gold foil design over here and then it's just a plain sparkly blue. So maybe that will work more and then I will just have a different insert which would look way better with the Webster's pages right here so it's gonna be like this is gonna be my business planner and this is going to be like a daily planner for me or could be a planner for doing social media youtube and all that or creating art so yeah it depends you will find out on the coming year i probably would have three planners like i used to so yeah so that's all for the planners and last but definitely not the least is this Sharpie S note right here. And I have four pieces, four colors on this one set. It says new. And where did I got this one? I think I got this from Pen Store also. I have a pink. Uh, I think that is a yellow. Yeah, pink, yellow, green, and blue pastel colors. So perhaps I can grab a note here and then open the light. So first we are going to write with this pink one. It says Sharpie Creative Marker S Note. All right. Okay. Uh huh. Ah, uh, it's like this tip. Isn't that called chisel or something? I'm not so good with calligraphy. I am. Nope, I'm not even learning it, but I will be. <laughs> so, oof. something like this, perhaps. Char P. Hmm. Well, this notepad that I have right here is a little bit of a cream color. So, that's how it's showing up on my end. Let's try to just use the tip right here. And I put here creative marker. Mm -hmm. But on this part, I used the chisel part a lot more when I wrote the Sharpie. And this one, I just used the very tip of it. So that's one. I think this is also going to be good for those who are like when they're taking notes and when they wanted to highlight, but they don't want to like the jumbo highlighter of the Stabilo and they wanted a highlighter that is like a pen type, then I think this one would work. And then we have the yellow one. Okay. Oh, the yellow one. It's like a sunshine yellow. Oh, that's really cute. I think that this yellow is really warm, quite warm. So it's very visible. Okay, so there. And then I need to put that right here. Then I grab the green. So we have char, P, okay, everything's warm. They just look pastel -y on the outside, but no, it's like, it gives you a little bit of saturation. For me, this works good, but if somebody would like to take notes and use this as their markers, I think they're a little too saturated for it. Could still work, depending on which paper you use, but I feel like if we, we have a much more white paper, then it will show the color a little bit more than this. And lastly, okay. sorry for my handwriting, it's not the best. Okay. And then using the tip. Right, creative markers. All right, so that's all of them. That's for our blue, and then we have the pink right here, the yellow. 
and the green. So there you have it, my fierce heart family. Thank you so much for joining me on this video, sharing with you these beautiful items that you can use, we can use, I can use for planning, organizing, journaling, and note-taking. So for all of you who love stationary items, I hope that this is helpful and inspiring. Some of the items you probably will not be able to grab anymore, such as this specific one, probably on eBay. This is not produced anymore, and that is exclusive to Sweden. But the rest, you can go ahead and grab them. So go ahead and check out, um, let's say, Virtual Press, this book, Hack Your Journal, Sharpie, and Rodia. I am not sponsored by any of them. Would be really nice. Contact me <laughs> if you get to watch this video and you like what I do. Thank you very much. But for everybody who have watched this video, you know, a simple like, a simple comment will really help my YouTube channel. And I always love to know your thoughts. Talk to you guys on the comments section down below. If you wanted to keep in touch, I have social media. All of them are at the fierce artist from YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. And I do a little bit of TikTok as well. So see you and stay creative. Keep on creating art. Keep on journaling. Keep on writing every day. See ya!